Aha, fancy new music. Um, somewhere that is really confusing and a different skin. We must be somewhere else. Aha, and that's because we are. Hi, everybody. My name is Waddles. I hope you're doing well today, and welcome to Minecraft Overgrowth. We're in a brand new survival world. This is episode one of this survival Let's Play series. Uh, we probably need wood. <laughs> uh, I haven't started the game in such a long time. I mean, we might as well start chopping this tree down here, just punch it with our hand. Uh, but this is going to be a short-ish survival Let's Play series, maybe. <laughs> it kind of depends on what you guys want to see and how long it takes us to do our goal for this series. Today, or this time, our goal is 1.8 content. Uh, because we are on Bedrock Edition, we are in the 1.8 update, which is the holiday update that just came out. This is the update with all, or not all, but some of the village and pillage features, which is super cool. I'm very, very excited uh, to play in this update. Like, <laughs> if you've seen uh, some of my other videos and stuff, I've mentioned that I'm excited to check out these new features. Uh, but what do we need? We probably want to make um, <laughs> a crafting table. Uh, oh, is that? That is the new brown die. I didn't realize that was in this version. Okay, crafting bench. Um... We need a bed, but we probably also want some tools, uh, so we'll get some sticks, we'll get a sword, uh, maybe we'll go with, well, I guess we kind of have to, <laughs> go with a wooden axe, I don't know if we really need anything else, we'll just kind of leave the bench here, we got some melons over there, that's, that's gonna be good for food, we are on normal difficulty in this series, usually I play on hard difficulty, uh, what is that noise? Oh, oh, cool. <laughs> uh, there's a parrot, but there is also a baby zombie somewhere, or no, that, I think that's just a parrot, it, it's just a grown-up zombie, let's see if we can get a helmet, uh, I think we can spam combat in this one, but I'm not gonna do it, <laughs> uh, I hear another one, or is it just the parrot, I, now I hear skeleton, I'm going crazy, I don't think this is the good, a good spot for us, we need to find wool, we are not going to to play through the nighttime, so, uh, do sheep spawn in the jungle? <laughs> I don't remember if they can. Um, I mean, this area looks nice for a house, but I think the goal is a bed today, so we can, you know, set our spawn. Uh, I mean, I guess fortunately we won't spawn very, very far. Um, hmm. Do they spawn in this biome? Um... <laughs> uh, that could be a problem, because I, uh, otherwise, if they don't spawn here, I'm gonna have to run probably pretty far. I think this is a massive jungle seed, which brings me to my next point, and I do know the seed. I will throw the seed down in the description of the video, uh, if you want to play along with me or anything like that, kind of make the world and check out things for yourself. You know what? We're gonna take these melons. Why not, right? They're nice melons. It, it can't hurt, right? <laughs> we need any food we can get right here in the beginning. Uh, and you know what I'm going to do? Just to be safe, I'm going to turn some of this into seeds so we can actually start making a farm as well. Uh, I don't know what kind of food we're going to go for. We're going to go for whatever works. I see some sugar cane over there. We will definitely take some sugar cane. Uh, uh-huh. Thank you. Um, now, game, listen. I need you to spawn me a sheep right here. <laughs> I need, oh, 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 no, 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 we are not miners today, nope, that's not happening, and I see some very, very nice, um, stone, and I hear skeletons again, these parrots are going to drive me crazy, um, maybe we should befriend some, get some parrot pets and everything like that, probably the, I mean, I mean, I don't see why, why not, uh, <laughs> I guess I don't see why either, but, uh, we're not gonna look at it like that, I need a new crafting table, I left it there, oh no, uh, we'll make that, and then we'll go, um, make another thingy, yep, I know how to do this, how do I, okay, only craft, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, okay, I guess that's a bedrock thing, I didn't realize that it would always show the ones that I can't make, uh, that's, that's okay, it's gonna throw me off though, <laughs> but it's definitely okay, we'll bring that, we have a stone axe now, which is good, we have one iron, if we could find, like, another iron somewhere, maybe we should take a look in the cave, you know what, 
Mm, I'm all over the place. This is what starting a game is like for me. I haven't, you know, started up a new series in, uh, in, in a long time. And for me, early game is me running around like a chicken. Oh, there's a sheep. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to go and and have to uh, unlive this sheep. I'm sorry, sheep. Now we need two more. Very, very cool. Unless we can find some iron and some coal right in here. Um, no, no, there is no coal in there. Mmm, mm-hmm, little parkour is always good. Um, well, <laughs> I, I kind of am getting myself lost, believe it or not. Uh, where did I start? Mm, I guess it's not that important. Uh, <laughs> oh, some pumpkins. Aha, I didn't know that was a jungle thing. It's cool. Now, I did see over the horizon, uh, or on the horizon, over this hill, uh, there is, that's a drop, uh, there is a new biome. There is the end of the jungle right there. So, um, it might be worth a shot, I think, to climb that mountain Take a look around, because it's a whole lot more open, right? My thinking is the jungle is so crowded, uh, it is very, very hard to find anything in the jungle, because you can't see, right? So maybe uh, we have a little more luck. Uh, are we... Oh, 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 <laughs> a mesa biome right over there. I think, uh, ooh, I'm getting some ideas. Oh, that's going to be amazing for building. Um... Hmm, but we won't get to building uh, if we die at night. You know what? I should probably kill some of these cows, too. I don't think I'm going to save them. And the leather's going to be good for enchanting. I will probably want to get some enchanted stuff going on. Um, hmm. There's a really cool-looking waterfall. That could be a cool house, but I think I want to build in the jungle. We don't have to use jungle stuff, but we do want to build in the jungle. But what I was saying earlier is the beginning of the game is always very, very hectic for me. It's basically me running around, like, with a chicken without its head, um, kind of saying, oh, no, where's the sheep? Where is this? Where should I build? Uh, I usually don't have a lot of inspiration when I start my worlds off, and I'm like, uh, well, what? I, I could do this or that, right? Um, but I don't have, like, a lot of solid, solid ideas. I guess we're going to swing through here into this forest. Um... I mean, I absolutely know sheep aren't going to spawn in the Badlands. Um, maybe we want to maybe we want to ditch the sheep thing for now. Uh, let's go ahead and get back to where we were. Uh, you know, and we'll take a cactus too. Die is always good. We'll try and move uh, like along the edge of the jungle because I think I'm going to eventually want terracotta for some of my builds. But we'll move back in and um, find a good spot to build that's in the jungle but not too far in. Uh, I don't want to see this biome, uh, really. Or at least too much. Oh, oh, buddy. Uh-huh, only one more. Aha, uh -huh. these are our first hostile mobs. <laughs> A couple of drowned sitting in the river. I do remember that uh, tridents are so... Oh, don't fall. Um, tridents are so much easier to fight in this version of the game, so maybe we'll be able to get our hands on a on a trident and use that as our main weapon. Uh, oh, and our final sheep, just in time. It looks to be getting darker. But um, I think I found a good spot to live, and that would be right around in this area. We have some cave entrances, and then uh, this is kind of like a peninsula over here, and if we go right over that way, we can see the Badlands, so... Uh, yeah, I, th I think this could be a good spot. Uh, this is actually its own clearing, so maybe we use this clearing right here and do like a starter house in this area. I think that could be kind of uh, kind of cool. But you know what we're going to do? Um, you know what? Let's dye the wool and let's make a brown bed for the jungle, right? We're going to go all out with the jungle, so brown bed. Um, I can... Om okay, there we go. We'll take a nap right here and... I think we'll go ahead and just plant the sugarcane and, you know, sort of start our little farming operation here. Now, uh, we definitely do want to get our hands on a little bit of iron, so then we can uh, make a bucket. So, we do have the caves over here. Let's go ahead and sneak into the caves uh, just a little bit. I don't want to go 
uh, very far because I know what will happen. Um. Mm, <laughs> uh, wait. Uh, here's a cave. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. Iron or coal. We need. We need coal. Well, we can make charcoal. I always got to forget about charcoal. Um. Nothing there. Hmm. Hmm. Is this a no? Uh, oh, here, here we go. Okay, this, this, oh, perfect, perfect. Iron right there. Okay, and coal. Oh, wow. <laughs> the Minecraft gods have heard me and presented me with a gift in the beginning of the game. And this is a beautiful and wonderful thing. Thank you very much, uh, Minecraft creators, Notch, whatever. Um, <laughs> this is cool. Okay, and we'll get a bunch of stone too, so we can, of course, make a furnace. We're off to a really good start here. If things Things keep going this promising by episode three we're gonna definitely need to up that difficulty level uh up to my normal hard and uh see what's going on now in the series we are going to want to not only see pandas but actually bring some back over to where we are settling and make like a panda enclosure a little panda pen type thing and then our harder goal i think is going to be getting a cat or two and bringing those back to our base uh, as well because I haven't seen any villages near here thankfully we are kind of close to the biome edge so uh, we will need to explore a whole lot more sheep are spawning over there that's awesome um but yeah we will need to get a cat as well so uh, that's the one that's gonna be a little harder uh, but here we go furnace and then uh, we'll, we'll we're not gonna waste any coal right now so we'll just throw that in and smelt up um, nine which is gonna be perfect and then you know what? <clears throat> Let's make a shovel. Uh, we'll go stone, shovel. There we go. Hmm, where should we put our farm? Our house is going to go right here, so maybe we go, like, back here. Just a little bit with our... F nah. Yeah, I mean, this should be good. We'll clear out the leaves, too. Um, we'll probably just have to punch some of those out until we get to this. Um, I didn't make an axe yet. <laughs> I'm living in a jungle, and I don't have a tree axe. Um yeah <laughs> uh but yeah we'll put our farm back over here for now we can always move it if we need to so we'll do i guess a water there and then we'll just do our standard little crop row i think i think that'll be a good way to do it so do we have enough for a bucket yes we do Mm-hmm. um bucket i didn't do a starter chest either i know that's a thing in well i guess it's a thing in both versions of the game but no starter chest, no starter map, nothing like that. I figured we already have it easy enough because I am uh, on normal. Uh, let's see. Let's. I mean, we could just go with the stone. Oh, we don't really need an iron one yet. Uh, an iron would be cool, or an iron one, but it's not really needed. So here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, this will be our melon farm. Of course, melon uh, isn't going to be the best food but it's going to be an all right food, I think, for today. Um, now, what else do I need? <clears throat> you know what? You know what? We could get a little fancy with this and make... Uh, no, let's do slabs. Let's make some slabs and put a back to our farm. I keep, like, spinning weird. <laughs> I, and I'm facing backwards. But we'll do something like that so the melons are forced to grow forwards. And... Um, then we can kind of see when they're grown, and we will want to do that eventually as well. We will definitely get rid of this cave entrance um, and switch that up a little bit. Do I have all of the ores from here? I think I do. Um, yeah, I think I got everything. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Uh, okay, so I did go ahead and cover up the cave, and then I punched out a few leaves right here. So then we can run into this little cut-through area and go somewhere. Maybe we'll do something with it, or at least make it like the entrance to our mine or something like that. But I think that's it for the pilot episode of Minecraft Overgrowth. So let me know what you're thinking. I am not going to pre-record these episodes too much. So uh, there's a good chance that if you leave a good comment, I will talk about it in the next episode. I think next time around, we will get working on our starter house and we're gonna go with definitely a different theme than normal. I have some really, really cool ideas, but definitely throw your ideas down in the comments as well. 
Uh, all of my links are down in the description, my Twitter, the Discord server, my Patreon if you want to support me, and my Twitch, all of that type of good stuff. Let me know what you're thinking somewhere, and then go have a good day. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Waddles, and I will see you next time on Minecraft Overgrowth.